Oh, welcome back, Gems, to another wonderful episode of the Grateful Gem Podcast. I am your host, Jasmine Chanel, and I can't wait for you to hear today's topic. Gems are definitely going to be dropped, so make sure you tune in and stick around. Let's get into it. Oh, what's going on, Gems? I'm super excited for you to be tuned in today. Um, I know a lot of you may be saying, oh girl, you know, where you been? <laughs> this is supposed to come out on Sunday. However, um, I did not forget about you guys. I actually was battling between several different topics because like I said, I want to post things or episodes that are tailored to what I feel like the Lord is telling me that everybody is going through. And even though, you know, of course, every so every episode is not going to be tailored to everyone i want to reach as many people as i can uh, with the right encouragement when you guys need it at the right moment so today's topic um if you haven't already read and the title is going to be big wins equals small wins um or small wins equals big wins basically what that means is that a win is a win Whether it's big, small, medium, large, extra large, extra small, half, like a win is a win. And the reason behind me wanting to record this episode today is because I am in a place in my life where I used to count out the small wins. Um, and just, I used to just wait for God to do something miraculous in my life for me to say, oh, I'm winning or, you know, I'm, I'm up one, you know what I'm saying? For the people that... (laughs) no lingo <laughs> for the people that don't understand lingo up one means you know I, I leveled up I re up well no you probably don't know what re up me but leveled up let's just say that let's keep it G you know what I'm saying <laughs> but um as you guys can tell I am in a great mood um a couple of days ago if I'm being honest I made the decision that I am no longer going to be stagnant in my faith I am no longer going to be complacent in my situations I am going to for real, for real, (laughs) walk by faith and not by sight. Um, Do I fail sometimes? Yes. Do my thoughts take over what I see? Yes. But I'm still human, right? So, um, I just, I try to remember that at the end of the day, you know, um, if nothing else goes right, at least I uh, made the right decision by choosing to keep my faith. Um, and I think that it's so important that you surround yourself by people who can help you achieve that. You know what I'm saying? Like who can purpose now let me remember that who can be your pusher to your purpose i was gonna say purpose pusher but who can push you into purpose um who can remind you that at the end of the day um it may not look good it may not feel good but it's necessary me and my homegirl had a conversation the other day and we was talking about this year and i tell her this every year but um and i mean it I told her because she was saying, you know, I can't wait for next year. I can't wait for the end of the year. I can't wait. I can't wait. And I told her, I said, well, you know, even though I'm going to be real, this year has been hard. Um, it was very much necessary. You know, it was very much necessary for us to go through the things that we went through because it is pushing us into our purpose. It's pushing us to try harder, to go harder on our faith, to believe in not what we see, but what God is saying. And to know that being surrounded by good people who can remind you of those things are very necessary Um, because I learned that you have to tailor your situations to what you're going through to the people around you right so if you have people around you who are not able to um, push you out of complaining push you out of a negative mindset but they're in the mindset with you you don't need that around you and I'm not saying that oh you can't be friends with those people no be friends with them however just remember that when you need somebody to push you into your purpose they're not they're not that friend uh, when you need somebody to uplift you when you're feeling down then don't go to them because you're going to be sitting in pity you're going to be sitting in misery and I remember 
a couple months ago, I found this out, and I found myself confiding in all of my friends um, in certain areas of my life, and I started to pay attention to the way that people was responding, and I said, you know what? I'm realizing that some people you just can't tell stuff to because I don't want, and it's not necessarily that a person is going to give you bad, every person is going to give you bad advice, but sometimes it's just like, okay, you ain't pushing me into purpose either though. Like you sit here complaining about your life with me or you complain about my situation with me or you're amping me up to make decisions based off of this situation that are not going to push me into purpose. It's going to actually put me behind. So I decided that now when I go through things that I will be mindful in who I confide in with that information and who I decided to take insight from right because we want to grow we don't want to stay stagnant and in learning all of this I learned that okay one step closer or a half step closer is better than no steps at all so I don't know what you have going on in your life or what you're believing God for but if you're succeeding in that or getting a step closer each day that's a win and it's a big win because you, I literally had my therapy session today with my therapist and I was talking to her and she said, you know what, Jasmine? She was like, yes, with the positive energy. Like you are so different than you was two weeks ago. You were different from when you, where you were last month, the month before that. Back in July is when I started doing therapy with her. So she was like, you know, you're a have come so far from when I first started talking to you and I told her I said you know it's because I woke up one morning and I decided I can't stay here like I cannot continue to sit in my misery I cannot continue to make bad decisions that's not going to help me in the long run and so in that moment I told her I said I also started thanking God for the small things so at the end of the day if I woke up on time this morning which I have been doing really good that with that you guys because some days I just be like, Lord Jesus, fix it. Um, and it's not necessary that I wake up late, but it's like I wake up like maybe two minutes before it's time for me to clock in. But now, some days I'm up at like 7 30, 7 45, get ready to clock in so I can get my day started. And I'm proud of myself for that because that was a struggle at one point for me getting up on time, even though I'm working from home. So that's a step. That's a small win to you, but a big win to me because a win is a win, right? So, I've also been in the midst of learning that every situation doesn't deserve a reaction or a response. And someone who taught me this is my son's dad. Um, Because sometimes when we get into altercations, he doesn't say anything. Or if it gets too bad, he'll leave. And so, I used to take that personally like, oh, you can't communicate. You need to talk, da, da, da. But I am now learning that... Some things just don't require you to speak on. Because if you look at certain situations and you tell yourself, okay, if I speak on this, is it going to get better? And if the answer is no, then why are you speaking on it? And I had to tell myself that. So I've been doing really good with that because I told myself I, from here on out, I have to protect my peace. I have to protect me stressing and overthinking about things that I cannot control. And in order to do that, I have to be in control of my actions, right? I can't sit here and just be a ticking time bomb because I want to, right? Like, I just can't do that. So, I decided that I'm no longer going to stay where I am. I'm no longer going to complain. I'm going to make better decisions. I'm no longer going to sit in pity. I'm going to see what can I do. And sometimes you have to make stuff plain. You have to write it down and literally list out the steps that it takes to accomplish that and then as you're taking those steps check off what you did if it was just log in and check your email check it off that's that's a win and like i said i feel like people just count wins out because they feel like they have to have this big impact like a win is a win and i'm learning that the small things you getting up on time for two days out of the week when you was only getting up one day out of the week or you wasn't getting up early at all that's a win because you're not, you're no longer in a pattern of what you used to do. You're one step closer to finding a better habit. And in order for you to perfect something, you have to consistently do it, right? You have to keep trying it until you get it. So I just want to encourage you um, 
this message is going to be super long because I feel like it's cutting dry straight to the point. But I just want to encourage you to not count out the ways that you have in your life. I don't know what you're believing God for, of course, you know. I don't know how God is going to show up in your life, but I do know that he is going to show up. And I do know that if you get serious about what you're trying to do, you can do it. And stop looking at what isn't and look at what is and take for don't take for granted the time that you have and the steps that it takes to get that stuff done and also don't put emphasis on a time frame because sometimes the time frame that we have doesn't align with the time frame that god has sometimes we put ourselves in time frame for a year and god says no nah, you can do it in three months sometimes we put a time frame on stuff oh two or three years and god says no nah, you're gonna do it in one year or you're gonna do it in six months or i'm gonna do it today because god i feel like we're in the season of god is doing things now he could do it later but he's gonna do it now too so i just think that don't count your wins out whether they're small big medium or large because they're all important and if and as i stated earlier this podcast episode is not going to be super long because sometimes it doesn't take all day to get a message out (laughs) but i hope you tune in to the next episode hope you enjoyed this one keep shining as the gems you are i will see you on the next episode bye are you loving this episode great don't forget to leave your feedback by rating and leaving a review on apple itunes also don't forget to subscribe anywhere wherever you're listening to this podcast and make sure that you follow us on instagram to keep up in the know of what's going on with the podcast okay let's get back to the episode